Hi, I'm Dan Malotny, broker of record with Ottawa Urban Realty. Today I'm going to talk about the first steps in buying a home. So, generally step one is you need to find out how much you can afford. So this will be based on uh, your income as well as uh, your savings that you intend to put towards uh, the purchase of the home. So generally what I recommend is you just talk to the bank the normal bank you deal with, whether it's one of the, the top five banks in Canada or one of the smaller ones, talk to them, get an idea, find out what their options are. There are lots of different options for mortgages. Talk to them about um, whether you want to do five year versus a variable rate versus two year versus one year versus 10 year, which most people don't do that. But uh, find out your options and find out what they will offer you as far as pre-approval and for how long the pre-approval will go. So that is step one. Now, part of step one later, I guess, will be that you will most likely also talk to a mortgage broker or another bank, uh, but that will be later on once you get closer to the purchase, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. So what is step two? Step two is think about your locations. Where do you think you'd like to live? So. You know, uh, when you start looking for a house, often people will say, well, I, I'm okay between here and here. I'll go this far south, this far north, east, west. Uh, but really, within the price range, tell me, what are your first two or three uh, preferred neighborhoods? Now, some people know exactly where they want to live and it fits within their price range and that's fine. Uh, but lots of people, they have lots of options, you know, where they work, where their spouse work, where their kids go to school where they want their kids to go to school. There's all kinds of important things to consider. And really, you should start looking in your preferred neighborhoods, but I would need you to think about why they're your preferred neighborhoods. Uh, so that's step number two. Step number three is I always recommend, you know, it's good to talk to a realtor. Uh, my job is trying to figure out what may or may not be the best option for you. Uh, and I guess that's what other realtors do as well. But why don't you talk to somebody who's been through the process, maybe a good friend or family member, uh, whether they went through the process 25 years ago or two years ago or two months ago, they probably have some advice that will be useful to you. So uh, I say talk to people that know and love you. Uh, and it could be that their advice is not appropriate for you or it's, it's not uh, representative of what's available on the market now, but at least you've talked, you've done some research, uh, with people that uh, most likely understand you and, and know your tendencies. So step four, ask for referrals. So uh, my personal business is mostly repeat and referral clients. Sometimes I get, uh, you know, something from advertising and stuff, but it's mostly repeat and referral. Um, and why that is, is because I generally provide a high level of service. So this actually isn't about Dan Malotny's business. So. Really, asking for referrals is like asking the advice in the previous step. You want to talk to people you know and trust, find out if they truly have someone they can recommend to help you. Now, it could be they had an okay experience with a realtor or some other professional, you know, three, four, five years ago. Do you know that it was uh, really a good experience or just not bad, number one? Number two, do you know that this professional will be the right fit for you. So ask for referrals and then interview those people and maybe start working with one to get started and see if they're gonna be a good fit. I'll be right back. So, step five, most important. They're all important, but step five to me is the most important and it's it, do not rush. Do not rush the purchase. Buying the wrong home is so expensive in the medium and long term. It's so much more important to find the right home or right property, depending on what you're looking for. But let's just assume it's a home that you're going to live in with your family uh, or housemates or whatever. But finding the right home in the right location at the right price point that works for you is the most important part. So step number five is do not rush. Remember that. Step number six, and this relates a little bit to step number four, uh, but it's, step number four was asked for referrals. Now it's time to interview uh, one, two, three realtors, decide on 
who you think you might like want to work with. Um, you know, a lot of people base it on their gut. A lot of people base it on who they like. Oh, he's the most friendly, you know, or, or she picked us up from work or whatever. Those are, you know, those are important things. But really, you want to know that you're being educated on the market. And this goes back to buying the right place. You need to buy the right place uh, the first time. Moving again is too expensive. Living in the wrong place is expensive, whether it's because your commute is way longer uh, or you're unhappy with some part of it or you know maybe your condo fees are too high and you're like why am I paying all these condo fees uh, there's it's very important to find the right fit for you because you're hiring a professional to help you find the right house condo apartment whatever it's going to be so part of this could be uh, interviewing multiple realtors asking about their experience seeing how you feel with them. Do you feel uh, a lot more knowledgeable about the market, about different types of housing or whatever you think might be important to you? Can they fill your knowledge void or your experience void uh, with reasonable, logical, experienced knowledge? So, so continuing with number six, uh, interviewing realtors, getting to know them, going to see some houses. Do you feel rushed by your particular realtor you think you're gonna work with? It's probably not good to feel rushed. Uh, do they provide enough options? Do, you know, are they working at times uh, when you are available to go look at homes? Um, are they expecting you're gonna buy one of the first four homes or is this an education process? Now, sometimes people buy the first, second, third home they see, but they're already educated, they know the market, they know the neighborhood, they know exactly what they want. Uh, sometimes uh, people just know, they walk in and they know. Now, sometimes I tell people, I think your decision's wrong, but it's your decision. Let's move forward if you think that's the right thing to do. Number six, continue. So, does your realtor of choice have the time to share and experience to share with you? Um, are you going to be shuffled off to a, let's call it, junior team member? Perhaps someone that's only been in, working for a few years, a few months, who knows, maybe they're brand new. Find out who you're going to work with if you choose a particular realtor. Uh, and, and sometimes that's fine. Sometimes there are buyer agents working for on certain teams and I'm sure they do a wonderful job, but is that the person you're hiring or is it the person that was referred to you by a friend or family member? Just find out. Be, see if you feel comfortable. So, and then after you do all this, go look at houses. Go look at houses in your top three neighborhoods. Get to know the difference between the d different housing stocks. Certain neighborhoods, you know, it's all 60s bungalows. Certain neighborhoods, it's, you know, all 19, 10, two and a half, three-story houses, you know, like, are you going to be urban, suburban, country? Uh, there are lots of options out there, but maybe go see houses in your first, uh, the first neighborhoods that you're, you're mostly attracted to based on your price point. There's no point in going to look at Rockcliffe uh, if uh, really you can afford Orleans or some other suburb. So go look at houses. Look at lots of houses if you need to. Get educated. Do not rush. Do not rush keeps coming back. Um, I always say, you know, don't feel pressure to buy any house. But once you decide there's a house you want to buy, then the pressure's on. You need to move, particularly in the recent market of 2018-2019. Uh, once a decision is made, you move forward. But you really should be educated on your options, on your preferences and how uh, the give and take of those uh, will affect your lifestyle for uh, going forward. Um, last point for this video is number eight, make an offer. Now, um, only make an offer if you think you found the right house, number one. Uh, the chance that the right house is on the market this week you know depending on your your uh, neighborhood of choice and price point and stuff you might have three options this week all of them are are just fine and you're happy with one of them make the offer if it's not on the market or you don't feel you're you've um 
understood what's going on in the market in your in your chosen areas then then wait it could be next week it could be next month once again I'm gonna come back to do not rush understand what it is that's gonna be the best fit for you and when it comes on the market move forward once the decision is made talk to your realtor move forward and then uh, I'll probably do another different video on uh, some aspects of basic negotiation uh, but um, you know at some point you're gonna want to buy a house you don't want to look at houses forever anyway. and uh, you know also you should note that um, occasionally people choose the wrong realtor uh, occasionally I felt like clients maybe weren't the best fit for me so you know what uh, if you feel that way with your realtor I think you should uh, Talk to them about it. See what your options are. Uh, talk about the agreement you have in place with the realtor and, and how you can move forward to make sure that, um, once again, you buy the right house. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to talk real estate, uh, investments, homes, condos, uh, etc. I'm Dan Malotny, Ottawa Urban Realty. Thank you.